I say, why should there be marriage at all? What should limit it to two, and why should it be monogamous? Nothing, in my view, gives the state that particular interest. I'm not arguing for those other forms, though I do, in my book, argue for the decriminalization of um, polygamy, which I think is a deeply hypocritical stance, and we could get into that if you want. But it's not because I'm advocating polygamy. Obama, who certainly is not a social scientist and was deeply misled, and I have published um, a couple of articles that have reviewed all of the research on that, notice that none of those comparisons about the disadvantages to children and the scare tactics around fatherlessness included same-sex couple parents from the get-go in the studies. But I suspect for the reasons of selection, what we call selection effects, that the children of gay male co-parents will wind up having probably the best parents. Obama was dead wrong. He was quoting studies that are, and I'm glad he's finally realized that, though I don't know how much he's actually realized that. Um, but the research does not show that at all. I would say that children in, certainly do not need both a mother and a father. They need good parents of whatever sort. Two good parents who have a low conflict relationship and a long-term commitment are decidedly um, better than one, but one good parent with a stable commitment and good education is much better than two who don't have those resources and who don't get along. There is no evidence, for example, that three parents would not be better than two. We have no studies whatsoever that examine that. But um, I think that we could have such studies because there are now people making that sort of a commitment. Um, so I would agree that we should get rid of the sexual family. There's no reason in the contemporary world to base um, our relationships necessarily on sex.